What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? What up to everybody in Main Man, me man's boxing forum over there on Facebook? And keep a third eye open for the Red Corner new boxing animated series rolling right here on Main Man, me man's boxing. Hey, look, the thing is this, man. I see that there's news out. Uh, Earl Spence Jr. responding to Victor Conti and his PED uh, testing concerns. It seems as if Victor Conti has been uh, raising a lot of concerns over the drug testing involving Earl Spence Jr. and Yadanis Uvis. Uh, we all know that Earl Spence Jr. is the WBC champion, which makes him automatically enrolled in the WBC Clean Boxer program, a program that I don't have much faith in, fight fans. And however, Yadanis Ugas, he is the WBA super champion, so he should automatically be enrolled in the WBA's fair boxing program, in which in both programs that you have VADA testing. This is supposed to be random VADA testing that's supposed to be happening year round. So that's automatically just because they're world champions. And then behind that, uh, we would love to hear, you know, normally VADA, they post uh, the drug testing results on their social medias. And no one has seen Earl Spence Jr. or your Danis Ugas' name pop up on VADA's website or, or in their, on their Twitter page or anything. And so people start formulating and asking the question of what's going on with the drug testing. Victor Conti leading the charge. And so Earl Spence Jr. has now came out and shut down Victor Conti, as you can see from this tweet right here. And in that tweet, Earl Spence Jr. let it be known that since the Kell Brook fight, that he has been VADA tested. Now, the thing is, is that in the Kell Brook fight, fight fans, Earl Spence Jr. was only the IBF, uh, was only going after the IBF. Now, in that case, he did not have to do VADA testing. But however, they did pay and do additional testing, which involved VADA for the Kell Brook fight. And according to Earl Spence, ever since that fight, he's been tested by VADA. Now, I do know he won that WBC title from defeating Showtime Sean Porter. So, from that point on down, for sure, he should have been being tested by Vada. However, now uh, boxing reporter Keith Eidick of Boxing Scene has now came out on his social media as well, shutting down Victor Conti. And letting it be known that he has a letter in his possession stating that Earl Spence Jr. and Yadanis Ugas have been doing VADA testing. So this is great news, fight fans. I think this is awesome, awesome news. Hopefully it should put uh, any concerns about this to rest that both of these fighters are now being drug tested, at least per the reporting of Keith Eidick. You know what I mean? It will be still nice, though, to see their names. Uh, broadcasted on Vada's website or either on their social media somewhere saying that this is going down like they do every other fighter you know what I'm saying but it is what it is my thing is this fight fans a lot of people may look at Victor Conti and of course you know just because it's your favorite fighter we want to talk down about Victor Conti's concerns we want to say that Victor Conti is oh, trying to put this in, uh, image or put this jacket on this fighter and, you know, I, I think uh, I have to disagree slightly a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I know that's normally the narrative of boxing fans, but I don't think it applies in this case. And uh, the reason is, is because, in my opinion, Victor Conti nowadays does not have no skin in the game when it comes to drug testing. It's not really beneficial to him one way or the other if uh, a fighter is testing or not. 
Victor Conti is more into his new snack program now. We be seeing the commercials everywhere, all over boxing videos of, of uh, fighters in boxes uh, telling you why they taking their favorite snack supplement or whatnot. And that's more of Victor Conti's aim right now. He has a facility that fighters go out and work out at. So he kind of got his own thing going. So I don't think that he got skin in the game as far as putting accusations on fighters and forcing them to test. The reason I think he does this is because he's very good friends with the head of VADA, Margaret, Dr. Margaret Goodman. Dr. Margaret Goodman and Victor Conti go way back. Victor Conti has advised VADA for quite some time now, and he's almost a, a similar to, if you ever seen that movie with Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger, I think it was called No Escape, in which uh, prisons hired uh, Sylvester Stallone and they will put him inside these prisons and his whole job would be is to break out and show the vulnerabilities of the prison. And that's exactly how Victor Conti's relationship is with Vada. Originally, they, what, they he advised them to show them different, you know, cause he's, he's good with these chemical makeups and how to fool test and he knows exactly what to look for because hell, he's beaten so many tests in the past, you know what I'm saying? So they were using him to that effect. And I think Victor Conti's role, honestly, today in keep highlighting these drug testing issues is to steer more money towards VADA to ensure the testing is being done. And I think that's more so his aim because uh, if VADA is not being hired to test, that means that they're not getting any money. Of course, we know that they are the chief testers once again for the WBC Clean Boxer Program. And they are the chief testers also for the WBA Fair Boxing Program. But how often are they testing these fighters? And we've heard in the past from past reporting how much their budgets uh, that they've received from these sanctioning bodies. And it's saying that it's not really that much money. So at the end of the day, I think that Victor Conti's whole concern every time he's raising kicking and screaming about drug testing is that he's trying to look out for his buddy, Margaret Goodman, and the whole vital organization keeping them employed, keeping them in the business, keeping them testing, you know what I'm saying? Which makes them more money. That's just my only opinion. That's just my opinion, Fight Fans. I could be wrong, you know, but I'm just going by from what I see. And I don't think that Victor Conti just have any skin in the game having fighters pop or or or, or anything like that, you know what I mean? He, he doesn't get like a check from Vada every time someone's popped or if no one's not this, then no, he doesn't get any of that stuff. I think that his main concern is honestly just looking out for Vada and looking out for Margaret Goodman. But, and, and along the way, boxing fans look at it like, you're talking about my favorite fighter and you ain't got no damn proof, so you shouldn't be saying that, you know what I mean? That's how a lot of uh, boxing fans looking at it. But at the end of the day, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? We are in a day and time where Boxing fans and a lot of uh, uh, boxing reporting and stuff like that, drug testing is getting left behind. Safety in boxing has always been kind of a sec second tier issue um, because the more safety you employ in the sport of boxing, uh, some people believe the less entertainment that you will get, you know? So if you change the gloves, the knockouts will go down. If drug testing uh, becomes too stringent, then guess what? The fighters won't be as strong as they once were, you know what I mean? Or maybe it's fast or get better performances or whatever the case may be, you feel me? So in this day and time, I mean, you even see sanctioning bodies like the WBC when their fighters get popped. For certain fighters, they believe their stories and for certain fighters, they don't, you know what I mean? Drug testing has also been weaponized to a certain, to, to a certain degree, I believe. And that is because uh, whenever a sanctioning body uh, if they catch someone, well, they make that fighter pay tons and tons of penalties to remain in their rankings. And those penalty, that penalty money goes to the sanctioning body. None goes to the drug testing organizations. So it's almost seen somewhat to a certain degree as a good money making thing as well. But anyway, that's not here nor there. I just want to let everyone know that, you know, I'm just glad at the end of the day that this came out and hopefully we could just move on beyond it. And uh, I hope they are getting tested regularly because um, I've had my concerns about testing in Texas for a long time, you know what I'm saying? And um, I just hope everything is being done right. That's the only thing I hope. But I'll go about the reporting and let's move forward towards this fight. Thumbs up on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, share, 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 rock them bells. To the next video, much love to the fam. I'll catch up with y'all real soon in the next live stream. Peace out.